Good morning, it's Thursday. <clears throat> the message this week is crucified with Christ. We spoke Tuesday, Paul writing a letter to the churches in the area of Galatia. Paul, in Acts chapter 13, 14, and 15, had been in different areas, Lystra and Iconium and Derby, and sharing the news of Jesus and that through Christ and the coming Messiah, people could be free. Now, in the book of Galatians, he's writing a letter back because he heard some things were going on that were very upsetting. <clears throat> These people in these churches had accepted God's gift of Jesus. Paul said they now had been crucified with Christ, meaning the life they lived was Christ living in them. So as Christ lived in them and through them, they were crucified, meaning they were together. If you can think about Jesus on the cross, if you were if you were hanging there also and the nails went through your wrist and then his wrist and the other wrist and the feet you were you were there with him you were crucified you're if you what paul would say dead to sin here's the here are the exact scriptures for this sunday for though the law i died to the law excuse me for through the law i died to the law so that i might live for god I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside this, the grace of God, for if righteousness could be gained through the law, Christ died for nothing. Paul said, I don't live by the law of trying to obey the Ten Commandments to be right with God. I live by the law of faith. Faith's not a law, but uh, just a way of explaining it. I live by now faith that Jesus died and was crucified for me so on this side i don't have to live by the law of meaning i have to do these things to be pleasing to god no i now live by faith that jesus i believe faith believe that jesus was crucified for my sins since christ lives in me i too have been crucified with Christ. The life I live is in Christ. That's the big point of our message. So the question I have for you today is this, as we as we get ready to prepare for our first indoor service, woohoo! You know, our last service indoor uh, at John Knox was March the 15th. So it is going to be first week of July. It's July 4th weekend freedom of independence from Great Britain a couple hundred years ago. Uh, I want you to think about this. What, if anything, is trying to hold you back, trying to make you live a certain way to be pleasing to God? Another way of asking the question is, what are you doing on a daily or weekly basis to try and earn God's favor? Another way of saying it is, what are you doing or not doing to try and be pleasing to God? Are you living by the law of, I better do this and that, or God's not going to be happy with me? Or, I better live by faith in Jesus, knowing that my sins have been paid for. 
<clears throat> it's good to see you this morning. I'm off this morning to uh, be with a family at a graveside service. These are good services. It's because we celebrate life. We celebrate that <clears throat> our life, eternal life, begins the moment that we accept Christ. Because it's not eternal life that we're going to get when our bodies wear out. We have eternal life from today forward. I hope that blesses you. It's a good thing to think about. Well, now you've seen the inside of my garage. There's my car behind me. God bless you. God loves you. Have a great day. Celebrate this weekend that not only our country is free to worship Jesus Christ, that you're free in Christ and your eternal life is here today. God bless you. Amen and amen.